जय हो माई डियर चिल्ड्रन दिस इज योर फिजिकल इंस्ट्रक्टर ए डी झापिया आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर टूडेज फिजिकल एजुकेशन क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन टिल टूडे वी स्टडी द गेम फुटबॉल एंड वी केम टू नो द सेवन लॉज ऑफ फुटबॉल सेवन रूल्स ऑफ फुटबॉल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मूव अ हेड विद द एट लॉ द रूल नंबर एट इन फुटबॉल सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट यू ऑल आर वेलकम फॉर दिस क्लास एंड आई होप यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ फुटबॉल लॉ नंबर वन एंड टेल लॉ नंबर सेवन नो लेट एस बिगिन अवर टूडेज क्लास विथ लॉ नंबर एट दैट इज द start and restart of play so what is the start and the restart of play so in this process how does it takes and what the rule tells us how we will know ke when to start and when to stop the game and again when to restart so children here are some points which we shall go one by one so point number 1 it is a kick off is a way of starting or restarting the play so when is this kick off kick off is when the match is starting so the both the teams enters in the ground and when they are in the ready position to play the match that time the referee gives the signal and he blows a long whistle to start the game so this is point number 1 so this is how they start the game and it is known as kick off now how this kick off take place so in this kick off process when both the teams enter inside the ground the referee does a toss and when the coin is been tossed one team will decide for heads and one team will decide for tail so the team whichever wins they decide whether they are going to start the game or they are going to choose the ground so whichever team will win it depends on the captain and the team whether they are going to start the game or they are going to take the side so whether this side of the ground or that side of the ground so this is before the match and then the whichever team will decide the other opposite team will take the take off that is they will start the game so that is kick off then at the start of the match yes so when they decide after deciding at the start of the match so as you know the game is with timing so in that time first start after the toss of the coin that is at the beginning of the match that is kick off that is at when the team will start playing so that first kick is known as kick off as well as it is start of the game and then the game begins then we have third point after a goal has been scored so any team it may be it may be from left side team or from the right side team of the court so any team whichever team scores a goal the opposite team has to start the game then point number 4 at the start of the second half of the match so in this process how it is in football we start the game and after starting a game is being played 40 to 45 minutes and then a interval so first the interval whistle is given so the game has been stop now when they want to restart the game after the half time after the interval so the second half begins with a kick off a game then the team who has uh, taken the kick off at the beginning the opposite team will take the start in the second half of the match then this is next one we have indirect kick 
so there is a procedure so indirect kick we are going to study in law number 13 so we will discuss in the law number 13 okay, how this indirect kick is there so during indirect kick also the game has been stopped and then when they take the indirect kick so what is the process to take the indirect kick we will discuss in our law number 13 that is rule number 13 now one situation is there in that particular situation the referee has to take a decision so he takes his own decision that is drop ball because there are some confusion happening sometimes not often and often but sometimes if some confusion is there or some thing between two players is going on and where the decision has to be taken so this law is not been mentioned in the game of football so it is by our referee who is controlling the match he decides and that is known as drop ball and this match when the match is going on this match can be stopped at that particular time only if the referee blows the whistle when he thinks that something is not there like uh, some misbehaving between both the players is going on or some decision regarding the ball while playing so misunderstanding or something is there so that time it is not mentioned in any of the law of football but the referee knows yes here what has happened so whether the mistake is of this team member or that team member during that time it is a drop ball sometimes what happens they clash each other that player will say it is hand this player will say it is hand but we cannot see exactly by whether what has happened whether it is really hand or no and so that's why only the referee takes the decision and which the law is not been mentioned in in any of this 17 laws for the drop ball now how this process takes place is where we start and we restart so period of play like first half when the game starts then interval the game stops again after the interval the game starts then some extra time has been given like some wastage of time has been taken place uh, it may be uh, during the throws during the corner kicks during the indirect direct kick sometimes the ball has been sent off like it has been kicked off the game then that time the game has been stopped so again the game has to restart so the referee gives the signal so it happens during the penalty kick penalty kick during the match timing so what match timing is there the duration of the match is there only during that time that timing is been calculated then some times uh, ball throwing is there corner kick is there free kick is there direct kick or indirect kick that time the game has been stopped or some players have been injured while playing so this extra time has been still allotted so during this time also we have the time of start and restart so this is the entire information law number 8 the start and the restart of the match for the game of football so my dear children we shall meet in the next class to learn more about law number 9 and now it's time to say bye bye to you all but we will meet very soon in the next class to learn about law number 9 so till then take care have a great day Jai Hind